All right. Uh, if you've ever tried drawing uh, or getting the formulas and trying to figure out how to draw a catenary in uh, CAD, uh, it's a little tricky, and I got a really basic solution. So it's not uh, all cases, but kind of uh, pretty basic, pretty, uh, what do you call it? Uh, sit the simplest version, sort of like the like this version of the parabola. It doesn't tell you where it is, which direction it's facing and all that. But over here, we've got the catenary. So I got this uh, exact education, gave this uh, catenary solution. So what I've done here is I've put it into uh, Excel and then put it into an XYZ or XY coordinates right here. And uh, the, we can put it in a notebook so you can draw it up automatically. It'll work in, a, in uh, AutoCAD exactly the same way. I just don't have AutoCAD on this computer anymore. So I'm gonna just go through this real basic, uh, try to make it quick. So we've got a width of 13 and a clearance of three. So you want a 13 width and Three feet off the ground, right? Uh, in, in, anyways, I, I'm not sure. There's so many different variations, but this is just one so that you can actually draw. You may have to move it, like kind of like with this, probably. You may have to move it and adjust it to where you want it. But uh, so we've got uh, the width of 13, clearance on clearance of three on the ground, and so there's your 13. Just G equals negative g2, right? And then we're gonna increment it in 5.5 increments, right? Uh, actually, that'd be quarters over here. So probably every 0.25, because this is a negative 6.5 in the right direction, and then positive 6.5. So it's going in actually in quarter increments. So let, uh, this is simple. 13, negative 13, that's the 13 here, negative. And then the, divide that by 2, you get a negative 6.5. And then here's the formula. So it shows you what this information is. This L, this X is L divided by two, which is the length divided by two, or the width divided by two. And we take the G1, uh, which is the three. And we're not sure really if that's real clear. Yeah, so C, Y, we're looking for Y. So Y is equal to C times the cosh of, of in parentheses uh b3 which is again uh the x right divided by g1 which is again the c right so then you plug that formula in and then you'll get the y and then here you just put it together so all i did was put a limit here really the formula is right here b3 and the open quote comma close quote and c3 that's just a, putting a comma in between the x and the y and then that's just if it's if a3 if uh, a3 just going to the left here if it's bigger than the 13 then it'll stop so it would stop right here right so that's why there's nothing there the formula is there but there's nothing there because it's empty and i did the same thing here uh if you look at this formula it's if it's great if it's less than the 13 then it will continue the the to deduct 0.5 and in this case if it was uh we wanted half inch increments we changed that to one uh not point one yeah Inter, right and then go like this actually i think i put point one right we're looking for one what if we wanted point five increments enter and then just go like that uh send that down and then these all automatically truncate right i mean you could put the increments up here and add that to the formula so if you wanted point five and then if you wanted let's say uh let's just do that so if right here we're going to do this then the g2 so i'm going to add another one here uh, uh interval and then we're going to say we want one as the interval enter this will be red because if we're going to change it So then the interval here, that has nothing to do with interval, the interval will be on the next one down, is a plus this, actually it would be times two. 
So G3, that's going to be a locked reference, right? And then here, we got to do the same thing, just select it down. And then that truncates it. So everything's automatically up truncated, right? Just because of that if function. And uh, if you take a screenshot and copy that, that is what this is, right? That goes to there also. Uh, this just directs half of that. And then there's your formula, the actual formula. And there's the concatenated, whatever, adding everything together with the common input, putting it into it so that it can be pasted. Then you go like this, you just copy that. I just double click the arrow, right click, copy, and then you go into the notepad. Control A, delete, and this is catenary 2. I don't know where that one is. File, open. Let me do it. File, open. No, I don't care. Don't save. This is a uh, catenary 4, right? Open. So Control A, delete. Control V. It'll paste everything, but you won't see it because it's it's actually selecting this all the way down to whatever 11,000, doesn't matter. Um, but it is there, you just gotta look at the top. So that's the advantage of, of this is you don't have to truncate and delete stuff. You just gotta copy it and you just gotta know that there's more here. So then just go Control A or Control C and open a notepad so that we just need to we already did that just hit save save and then we go into design cat here and then i'm going to go to import open that up and then it'll draw that up and then here's the so they as you can see the increments are kind of choppy just because it's a line it's not an actual curve the more points you want the smaller the x increments so let's do this v uh like that, enter, control K, and then come down here like this. It's interesting, there's no uh, point right at the middle. That's interesting, seems like there was a coordinate at zero. Zero, there's not, just, uh, just the way it's incrementing, it's jumping the half because it's a uneven function. Let's do this then. Let's make the interval 0.5. And then select that. Right click, copy. Go to Notepad, Control A, Delete, Control V. Uh, I just deleted. Copy. Right click, paste, and then Control A. Can't see it, but I selected it. Right click, copy. Actually, right, uh, we want to save it. And then we'll go to, so in, in AutoCAD, you could paste that right into AutoCAD. Here we have to save it and then open it up. File import. Open that up and that'll give us a better increment, right? So there you go. You can see how that's got a center now. And then trim that. And this, you go down on this one, V, Point relative from the last point, last point, negative three, enter, get rid of that. This is three. Nope. Control I. Selection handle length is three. So this should be at zero comma zero. Draw point mark. That should be at zero comma zero. Oh yeah, there you go. Zero zero zero. So there's three and three clearance, and then you got the width up here of thirteen. That's how you do that scenario. And like I said, it's the simplest version or simplest form of drawing the catenary. 
but you actually get a true cabin area that way and hope that helps you in your career and thanks for watching